Barack Obama arrived in Britain probably hugely relieved to put the visit to Saudi Arabia behind him. Relations there are seriously strained. London will be much easier in comparison, but though there'll be a warmer welcome, controversy awaits over the issue of Brexit. What will he say? How far will he go? My father, who I when I spoke know, to him last summer at the White House, he was fairly that. forthright on the issue. Having uh, the United Kingdom in the European Union gives us much greater confidence about the strength of the transatlantic union and is part of the cornerstone of institutions built after World War II uh, that uh, has made uh, the world safer and more prosperous. And uh, we want to make sure that the United Kingdom continues to have that influence uh, because uh, we believe that uh, the values that we share are the right ones, not just for ourselves, but for uh, Europe as a whole and uh, the world as a whole. Senior White House staff have gone further. One said, we believe that on the economic front, when it comes to commerce, when it comes to trade, when it comes to jobs, that the UK economy will be better off within the union than if it leaves. And as a key economic partner, that's an issue of interest to the United States. We know that Barack Obama believes that Britain should stay in the European Union, but will he warn of the consequences as he sees them of a vote to leave? Does he believe it will affect the special relationship, lessen Britain's position in the world? Does he think it could destabilise Europe financially? He won't tell the British people how to vote, but no one will be left in any doubt about what he thinks. But vote leave campaigners say that whatever President Obama thinks, whoever succeeds him in the White House will want the relationship to continue unhindered. If Britain chooses to leave the European Union, then they'll want to work with the world's seventh biggest economy, the world's fifth biggest defence power, a crucial ally in NATO uh, to ensure that we are all actually safer. And I think it will make no difference if Britain's outside the European Union. America will adapt to the new reality as we will adapt to whatever new administration arrives in Washington. A close bond has been built between these two men, but it hasn't always been easy. The president has been blunt over David Cameron's role in Libya, and harsh words were exchanged when it looked like Britain was about to cut its defence spending. But the prime minister will want the president to be as forthright as possible when it comes to Britain's membership of the European Union.